Hey, welcome to the Speedbird shop. Now today we've got a killer project in here. This is a Motivicity demo ride. It's a 2010 Camaro. We've got custom made headers, twin turbo chargers, a full big inch custom built LS motor, making over a thousand horsepower to the tire. Now during the original build, we've got an Exidy twin disc clutch in here, but we've been hammering on this and beating it for a while. So we figured this is a good time to do a little preventative maintenance, throw a new set in here because this ride is gonna go out for another round of abuse and a lot of fun. Now, let's check out some of our options for Camaros, see what you guys can pick out for yourself, and we'll show you what's going in here. Now, how do we decide what kind of clutch to put in that Camaro? Because remember, this Motivicity project car is a thousand horsepower at the tire, so you know we're not gonna go with an OE clutch. But what I like about Exidy, they're one of the biggest clutch manufacturers in the world, so you're probably running around with one in your car and you might not even know it. So let's walk past the OE one and let's go to stage one. Now stage one might start to get a little bit more aggressive organic compound on the disc. It's gonna have a higher clamp load on the springs. So that's gonna give us about 25% over stock as far as performance and torque capability. That's not gonna do it for us. So let's look at our stage two. Stage two starts to get more aggressive on the compound. So this is a ceramic versus an organic as far as the clutch facing. You can see we've got a six puck. This thing can handle a ton of heat a ton of abuse, and with the extra clamp load here, we're about 40% higher performance for this setup here on the Stage 2. Now again, we're going back to a, a mega tire blower here, so we're gonna go all the way up to the Hyper Series. This is a twin disc clutch. It's gonna at least double the capacity of our clutch. The other things I like about it, one piece chromoly you know, flywheel. It's lighter, it's gonna spool up quick. We've got a more compact aluminum, solid, stiff setup here for a pressure plate. Again, this thing's gonna have real low inertia. It's gonna spool up fast. It's gonna make our car drive like a race car. We're gonna get all the performance we need, so this is the one we're gonna throw in that Camaro. So follow along, I'm gonna walk you through the steps. All right, a good place to start is go ahead and disconnect your battery so you're nice and safe. I'm gonna hop in the car here and show you how to disconnect the shifter. Now prying up here with a nice soft tool, you'll see there's a few little clips in here. Now this little center console comes out really easy. So we're gonna slide it out, get it out of our way, and then we're gonna come back here to our shift boot. Now this is four screws, and this guy comes off all in one piece, so it's a shift knob and sort of the boot here. Now this guy is sort of a pop-off system, so you're gonna turn it slightly, and you're gonna pull it off without catching yourself in the face. Some of them don't come off real easy, so be careful. Now there's four screws down here, kind of holding this rubber boot. I'm not sure if I need to get to them or not, but since I'm here and they're easy, I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. Then I've got the boot ready to drop down below. So everything else is pretty much gonna happen from the underside, so come on down. All right, welcome to the business section of this project underneath. Now to get started, we got the exhaust completely out. We also dropped the drive shaft, got that out of the way. That starts to get us a lot more access. So I've got my trans jack up here. I've already dropped my cross member, so I can now start to angle this thing a little bit. So all I've really got to do right now, finish taking that shifter out. So I'll show you a little bit of detail on that. Now the first thing, we're gonna peel this boot back just to get it out of our way. I can reach up and carefully pop the clip off of one side and push my pin out. Now you see these other two bolts here, I'm gonna undo those so then I can drop the complete shifter right straight down and get it out of our way. All right, last steps, disconnect anything attached to the transmission. You got a couple of fluid lines, you can plug it if you like. This guy is ready. Try prying apart. Nice and gentle, you can work it around if you need to. Be careful of these surfaces that you don't mess them up so you can see little spots like this where you can stick tools and not mess up the mating surface. We got our clutch off, the whole assembly, our flywheel off. You can see we're starting to get some discoloration from you know heat, abuse, a lot of fun. So we're gonna get this back to our little test lab, get everything cleaned up, put the new parts back on. All right, with clean gloves, this is where we get to start playing with the new goodies. Now this is our twin disc clutch from Exidy. We've got it disassembled so we can pull it apart and you can see the arrows here. You wanna realign those when you put it back together. Now, 
With Dirty Gloves, we got everything cleaned up on the engine side, a little brake cleaner, wiped everything down. We inspected for any nicks, gouges, burrs. It's gonna you know, create a situation when we put it back together. Did the same on the transmission side. So we've got the old throw out bearing or release bearing out. We've got the new one just about ready to go in. But we're gonna do something real quick. We're gonna check the spline. So carefully with clean gloves, we're gonna come over. We wanna check our splines here. Make sure we float nice and smooth. There's no burrs or anything gonna create a little situation with this guy moving back and forth. And once that's good, I can get my throat bearing in there and I can lube this up a little bit. I'm telling you, a little bit goes a long way. Get it in there, then wipe it clean, because that stuff will fling all over your clutch and ruin a brand new setup. All right, check that out. Our new Exidy twin disc clutch, ready for another thousand horsepower at it. We got our pilot bearing in. We did a final wipe just to make sure everything's clean. We got our new bolts in, red Loctite, just a little bit. We torqued everything down using a cross pattern or star pattern. I like to go in two steps when I torque things down. 77 foot pounds on the flywheel. This guy we're gonna run down very gently. So we uniformly press the springs down. Then we can come back and torque in the same cross pattern. Everything else, piece of cake, just like the way we took it out, we're gonna put it back in. You know what this means, we've got our hyper clutch from Exidy in here, our twin disc, ready to handle that thousand horsepower. We've got a little break in, about 500 miles. We're gonna keep it under about 4,000 RPM, and then it's go time. All right, man, we got this thing broken in. It's time to go have a little bit of fun. Come along. Man, that was a hell of a lot of fun. Test drives are a blast. Clutch is working great. We're gonna have to bring it back to the shop for a new set of tires. Till next time, you guys have fun out there. <laughs>